Corey, now send it. <laughs> what I said isn't a lie, but I said her mouth is occupied right now. <laughs> we should talk about what happened at Winchester. Are you sure? Wait, what? it was filmed? Yeah, dude, Kyle filmed it. Snap his head at my mom and go, Like, what? he's one. He's not even saying mama or dada yet. Okay, so you went from he's good to he's all right to he's still possessed. Well, my mouth starts bleeding. And I just remember blacking out. I am the dead. I will avenge. <laughs> Dude, Corey, this is the first time in my life I can dunk. <laughs> the wow. very first time in my life I can do this. Yeah, give it up for Elton. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we're in Grafton, Ohio. This is an elementary school. It's been abandoned since 2005. Mm. And we're sitting in the gymnasium, which is just super, super cool that we're here right now. I know. It makes me want to play basketball. Look at that right there. You think I can make it? <laughs> You're going to crush the light. <laughs> You're going to throw it and just knock the whole show out. Okay, so we are uh, about two and a half, three weeks into the overnight paranormal tour that we're on right now. Uh, we started off this tour with quite a few motorhome problems. A lot of weird things kept happening. Tires were popping. Uh, our roof tore apart at one point. Yeah. Like truck tires were deflating. Everything was going wrong. Uh, our jacks broke. Our side view mirror broke off. Like everything you could ever imagine was going wrong. And for the last week, We've been good. We've been good. Until today. Yeah. Apparently last night, our water tank in our motorhome exploded. It cracked open and we lost all of our water. So no one showered. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> no one showered. So, so, so during, during the meet and greet, you yeah, know, we'll just, just ignore, you know, <laughs> ignore the smell. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you open up his jacket, he's just got all those dryer sheets inside. <laughs> just to keep him. <laughs> Don't tell them. <laughs> Come on. Don't guess our secret. You pop it open. You just got nothing but like Febreze tablets. <laughs> you're like, hey, I'm like you, a magician. <laughs> 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 and then on top of that, literally right now, I just watched our tire explode on the trailer. We were literally unloading everything for this. And I just, I was on my phone ordering food and I watched the tire just explode. Yeah. So right now our trailer is like stuck until tomorrow when we can find a shop to fix it. Yeah. So that's fun. So, you know, part of the paranormal tour, you know what I mean? When yeah. you're traveling with 85 haunted items. For three it's, straight weeks. But at the same time, I think the tire popping now was a good thing because if it would have happened while driving, oh, tore over. Oh, that would have been the most haunted highway in the world. <laughs> <laughs> they go past the that. news report is like, we found shards of red hair all over the freeway. <laughs> Annabelle's eyeballs were on the northbound side. We found Dybbuk boxes in the median. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that would have been bad. <laughs> yeah, that, that definitely would have been bad. Wait, have we ever talked about Winchester? No, we, <laughs> we should do it. We should talk about what happened at Winchester. Are you sure? Let me preface this by saying there are some locations that have rules. There are some locations that say you have to be respectful. This is a historical site. It is very rare that I have to let everyone know ahead of a location and go, hey, tonight, please don't take your clothes off. Don't make any R-rated jokes. Like, it's very, very rare that I have to literally go, sincerely, I need you to behave tonight. <laughs> Winchester was one of those locations that said, if at any point you do anything inappropriate, we will ask you to leave immediately. You do not get to post your video. So this is one of the locations where I said, hey, don't fucking do anything weird. <laughs> Cut to... Oh God! Uh, is anyone uh, is anyone super young in the audience? Any? any? It, it's not okay. that graphic. Yeah. You know. Okay, we're good. Uh, so, long story short, you know, we're <laughs> we're walking through Winchester, and you know, it's known for a lot of random doors, a lot of random windows, and there's one window in the room where you just open it, and it's just a window to like another room. It's just literally right there, right? So we're walking through, and Matt disappears. We're like, where is Matt? Like, he's gone. And we just hear Matt, and he just yells. He's like, guys, guys, quick, look, open the window. And we open the window, and there's Matt with all of his clothes off. He's only wearing tidy whities He's down on his knees, okay? And he has his head 
peaked like so like let's say this is where the window cuts off so you only see half of his face right he's down on his knees <laughs> he's only wearing tidy whities and he's going like this <laughs> I'll be honest, I didn't know about that part. Oh, I did. I didn't know about that part. Yeah. He was acting like he was doing something. <laughs> Naked. <laughs> and it didn't make the video. <laughs> and what well yeah, I could just no. <laughs> of course not. Yeah. But all I remember seeing is Corey just like doing this, just going <laughs> and just slamming the door shut as fast as you filmed that, didn't you? <laughs> Wait, wait, who was it? Okay, I got to tell another story real quick. Who was it, Were you with us? Who was it that was like just showing their ass on the camera while getting B-roll? What? Do you remember this? Wait, B-roll? B, 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 no, B-roll. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. not butthole. So B-roll is when we're just getting, you know, extra footage of the buildings and stuff like that. And this was recently. I cannot remember who it was, but we were walking with one of the camera guys because they were scared to walk by themselves and they're getting B-roll. And he's like, hey, you guys wait right here. Let me get a cool shot of this room. And so he starts right here and he's just doing a slow pan. And then once he gets to right here, me and someone else, I wish I remember who it was, we're just standing there with our asses just hanging out. Wait, you were doing it? Yes, and then and then we made him delete it. We made him delete it right that away. That was Jonah. That was you, Matt. And, and Jonah. No, that was you, Corbin, and Jonah. And jo it was me, Corbin, and Jonah. That's who it was. So now you know who's the most handsy and the most cheeky. Yeah, it was, it was a little cheeky. <laughs> but imagine that B-roll. Literally, it's, no. like, it's like the most haunted location in the world. <laughs> blah, blah, 1734. And then it's for one second <laughs> and then it just goes to a drone shot like nothing happens oh yeah yeah we had to delete that <laughs> we deleted that real quick oh yeah because you didn't know who was going to edit it yeah because some yeah. poor new editor was going to be like it's my first video for overnight i'm so excited what the f <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah good times uh the reason we decided to do this as a live show is because we want to bring the paranormal community together right for example, right now we're in, we're in Grafton. I feel like most of you probably live within this area. And I have a feeling that a lot of you are looking to ghost hunt more often and maybe need some other people to do so with. So is there anyone here, I'm always curious to ask this, who wants to go ghost hunting but is looking for like another friend or two? Can you put a hand up? Okay, that's about half half the people here. So the, the goal here is that when this is all over, you guys can hang out out front and make a Discord or group chat or whatever and investigate. The other part is... We ask everyone who comes to submit paranormal stories, experiences that they've had, that we can then read and then bring them on stage for the sole reason of being able to talk to them about it and learn more, which would be impossible to do from home. Mm -hmm. And ultimately, we also want you to be able to see the faces of the people who wrote these stories so you can realize that there's other people just like you that have probably had paranormal experiences and you shouldn't be as taboo to talk about them. Yeah. So that is ultimately why we do this. We like to have some fun up front and, and make some jokes, which we will probably continue to do as we read these stories. Do we get into the stories? Are yeah. you are you story one? You're story one, right? Yeah, you're story one. Hello, my name is Jada. In 2015, when I was about 11 years old, my family and I moved into a house in Elria, Elria, I believe it's pronounced. Bless what? you. <laughs> Ohio <laughs> that was built in 1900. We loved it. Nothing really happened for the first couple of months. We realized that that would soon change. Things would start to fall on their own. My friends would get scratched. Pickle jars would fly off at us from on top of the fridge. And we would hear things that were not there. Shortly after, my little brother was born and I was in the room with my best friend. We started to hear a baby crying, and I figured it was my brother. My parents would get... Oh, wait, wait, that's, that's kind of wrong. What? Did a demon just possess you? <laughs> <laughs> that was good. Thank you. That was like the bass you do. I'll reread I'll re that. We started to hear a baby crying, and I figured it was my brother, and my parents would get him. The crying continued. We eventually walked downstairs where my parents' bedroom was. My little brother was sound asleep, but we were still hearing the crying. What noise was that? 
That was the parents' bedroom. <laughs> that was the night that made me believe. To add to that, we started seeing doppelgangers that looked just like us. It started when my mother and I saw my little brother at the same time, but in two different places. She had walked into my room to grab the heater while I was sleeping one night. When I opened my eyes, I saw him standing right next to her. No emotion, just a blank stare. While I was looking at him, she yelled for him when she saw him run out of his room to the staircase. When she walked out, he wasn't there. She walked into the bathroom and his room and he was still using the bathroom. When he was about one and a half, he would yell in voices that weren't his. <laughs> he was not speaking yet, but he would scream, bitch. Wait, what? I swear to God. One and a half year old yelling, bitch. What? It, that's what's written. I thought you were making that up. Okay. No, I swear. Could you imagine? Wah, I, wah, bitch. <laughs> wah, bitch. Where my pacifier out, bitch. <laughs> Damn, where my milky at, you? <laughs> Let me suck on that. <laughs> um, I'm teething. Bitch. Sorry, <laughs> but he would scream bitch <laughs> and mock my mother. <laughs> Wait, and mock? Yeah, it's literally where them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I didn't write the story. <laughs> I know you didn't. You didn't. We had two mediums come to my house. They said they saw an entity that was not human, was never human, and never walked this earth. It sat in a chair in the window and would watch my brother. He was treating my brother like a puppet, but that was the scariest experience we've had in that home. Mm. Is Jada here? Okay. Get up here, Jada. Wait, can I say, can I say one thing? Uh, okay, it said it was treating my brother like a puppet, which means this demon that was possessing the brother would just love to say the word bitch. Correct. It's That's like literally like Rick James and like the Chappelle show. <laughs> <laughs> Boo, bitch. <laughs> a round of applause for Jada, everyone. There you go. Give it up. Okay, I'm not going to sit down. You're not going to sit down? No. Okay. Uh, okay. Well, Can you say that again into the mic? I, they, uh, that needs to be shared with the audience. I you. said I'm not going to sit down because I don't need the whole audience seeing my badge. <laughs> okay, with that being said, we're not going to sit down either. We're not going to sit down either. We're not going to sit down say either. Hi, badge. <laughs> what? <laughs> the funny thing is, is my nickname is Vegeta, so... Oh! Wow. Your nick... What? Yep, my stepdad gave me, gave me the nickname Vegeta. I'm, I'm starting to think that your one and a half year old brother learned the word from you. No, no. <laughs> or your stepdad. <laughs> okay. Talk to us. Talk to of one, a one and a half year old. What did he sound like when he said, "I need, give me your version of it? He like would change into like a completely different person. And he'd just like snap his head at my mom and go... And we would like, what the fuck? Like, what? he's one. He's not even saying mama or dada yet. Like, and he's yelling, bitch. Like, was your mom? No. Okay. <laughs> Maybe he was saying mama. <laughs> and then when he would mock her, um, it would be like things that she would say, like when she was down, like, I just can't do this anymore. And he would be like, I just can't do this anymore. Like, mocking her, what? but he was one. What? One. Please, Please tell me you have words? family videos. Please tell me you have family videos. I have a VHS or something. I have a video um, of the story of the doppelganger story. Okay. Um, of I showed it to Corey. Mm -hmm. It's my little brother. He's standing in the kitchen with my mother, and he's literally on the baby monitor, still in his crib. Well, let's get back yeah. to the. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Was he saying any other words? No. Not and then mama, he would say words dada. that was mocking mm -hmm. your mom? So yep. he wasn't saying mama or dada? Nope. He would just, like like I said, he would change into a completely different person. Like, we're like, what the hell? Like, we obviously knew something was up. 
And so we yeah. had two mediums. Yeah. <laughs> we did eventually have two mediums come and they said, yes, there is something attached to him. Um, did they come at the same it, time or were they one by one? Same time. They're sisters. Okay. Um, and they came and they're like, yeah, there's something that's in the window. We're seeing it. It was never human. It never walked this planet. And it's treating him like a puppet pretty much and controlling everything that he does. Um, he actually has autism and a, a behavioral issues as well. So it's like they were thinking, you know, that that had something to do with it. Um, the behavior issues, because like he can be a perfect kid when he's not at our house. Like he's perfectly fine, he's normal. But then as soon as he gets steps foot in that house, he's a completely different person. Okay, so so I, I need I need to ask because it's not written here. And then even as you're telling the story, the mediums came in and they said there's something not of this earth, not human, just just sitting there and watching. Did they do anything? Were no. they just like good luck? They they were pretty much like we don't know what to do at this point. Like so, did anyone do anything? No. I, what they what? they had came back. They had came back. Um, this was like about a month ago. And when they had came the first time, this was probably like two three years ago. Um, they came like a month ago and they were like, it's not here anymore. And they came back seven years later. This is in 2015. No, 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 no. They, they came like three years ago the first time for the first okay, time. So, okay. So, okay. So, so, uh, so I can recap here. You, in 2015 is when you moved into the house and then 2019 is when this started happening. No, it started happening like the year after we moved into the okay, house. Okay, so you had, from the ages of one and a half till like three and a half, you just had him just yelling b and curse words and mocking your yep. mother? Yep. And you didn't get him like baptized or like cleanse um, the house? Or like we, maybe just like a mask so he could do, stop yelling or, or ground him? We, <laughs> what we are you going to do, did, bitch? <laughs> we did sage and use holy water um, and we did prayers and everything. Did it work? Uh I'm going to guess so because, but there is still something that does linger in that house because we'll be sitting in the kitchen and we'll hear something just go past us. Hey, hey, bitch. In our <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. That was good. <laughs> Those EVPs. Sorry, carry on. But yeah, so there's something definitely that's still in that house. Um, when the mediums had came to, they had told me that a mirror that I had gotten, um, it was sold to me. It was from an old, old, old hotel. And it was like from the 1800s. And they were like, that mirror, you need to get that mirror out of your room right now. You need to get it out of this house. You need to throw it in the garbage. Like they're, they're, that mirror is a portal. Like mm. that's why things are coming through. And I was telling Corey too about when we would walk into the house, it's just instant sadness. Like you can feel all the sadness that I'm has sad. <laughs> <laughs> that is like happened in that house and everything. And it's it's really sad. Um, the first thing that we had noticed actually was there's a headstone in my backyard, um, and it was like sunken in. We can't find who it belongs to or whatever. We've tried to Google the name and everything. Nothing pops up. And because we're thinking, you know, what if this is like a missing persons case or something? Mm -hmm. And so we're trying to look it up. Nothing. And um, me and my friend, we played the Ouija board when we were little. And it said that it got into a car accident, that it was a female. And her name was Stephanie Manzel. And she got into a car accident right up the street from my house, but she never lived in the house. She just came. That's where she came to because that's where the most energy is, is that there's the three houses in a complete, like a triangle. Hmm. Those three houses are the worst. I still just can't get over. No one, no one videotaped him saying this in 20, in 2015. My mom does have a video. Um, uh, this, she, I don't have it though. Can yeah. She text it, can we please? make it go viral, please? Patty, text her. Also, I just wanted to add that he also loves to throw things, and he used to actually. I'm pretty sure he's bitten someone before. And how are you pretty sure? 
He did. Okay. It was me. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say. I feel like you know, uh, like. But I use I use word kind of doing this stuff, but randomly my old old self would say all the memories that like recorded definitely got deleted somehow we don't know how it got lost but he was like definitely you could tell that he was definitely a different person and just snapped out of it and snapped into him and just running around screaming cussing in a fever voice at a window. so when you got rid of the mirror and did it all stop uh no um things felt a little lighter i will admit things did feel lighter but it, it didn't stop. It kept going. Do you so think whatever it, was there was staying there. It was there to stay. You think they just came in through the mirror then stayed? That's why it was too late? I think so. And I think it's also because our land is very big. And um, there's a lot of like things that happen over in that area, like bad things. Mm -hmm. And so we're thinking that, you know, whatever happened on the street or around the house or whatever that they're lingering they're, they came to my house because my house is the most has the most energy yeah. hey, i'm very curious like genuinely at what age do children start learning how to speak like two or three it, it is okay it's around two or three and full sentences is typically like four, four right four to five legitimately if you can find the videos and documentation of a one to one and a half year old speaking full sentences alone is abnormal and then you have something that like would massively contribute to the paranormal space so that's why i'm like yeah. do you have the video because like i want to see this video because if you have it you have something that i have never heard of in my entire life in five and a half to six years of traveling the world and talking to all these professionals even the warrens never encountered a, a an infant a toddler that was speaking or anything like that. So if you can track down those videos or if you need help, I have someone at Snapchat, like I could probably reach out to him and be like, hey, this is abstract, but like it's worth trying to chase this down. That's why I'm asking you. I'm not like trying to be like, prove it. I'm like, I want to see it because that would be remarkable. I'll definitely have to try to see if my mom will send it to me before I leave here today. Perfect. But yeah, if you, if you have that, I mean like the, the contribution that would be to the paranormal space and then what would probably evolve from there would be honestly monumental. I, I truly, and throughout yeah. my, the, all the things I've ever learned in this space, I've never heard anything like that. Yeah. Like when I say like he would talk in voices that weren't his, like he was possessed. Like you could see this, the instant moment where he snapped and he was not himself anymore. He was a completely different person. He actually started describing to us the thing that he was seeing. And he said, it's black. It's hairy. It doesn't wear any clothes and it has no face. Mm. And I'm like, so I had him like repeat it to me like more times throughout the week. So I'm like, okay, like, is this a real thing or is he just making that up because his imagination? And no, he, every time he told me the same exact thing, the same exact description. You think it was a demon? I, I believe so. Did anyone else in your house ever feel... Like susceptible, anyone else feel like that change in personality or was it just, was it just him? It's really just him. Um, I mean, like I said, we feel the sadness, but that's about it. We don't feel like, you know, any like changes in us or anything. Um, but it, it's definitely terrifying because, you know, you see your little brother and you're like, I, I can't fix this. I can't help him here. Like this is out of my control. So then you have to watch this thing, use him and play with him like he's a little game. And it, it's heartbreaking. Mm. And did at any point did someone other than the mediums, which happened years later, was there ever a desire to bring him to a church to have um, him blessed, to have him like, like properly cleansed? Like, yeah, there was talks about it, but um, with his behavior and stuff, he like he would act up. Like, but he's 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 a child. You can I could take down a child. <laughs> you know what I mean? If I if, if there was a demon baby on the maybe loose, not I the could, Evan monster. I could tackle. Maybe him. not him. I, I could definitely take down a two year old. <laughs> I don't care what demons in him. I can pin him down and take him to church. Yeah, he definitely needs something because that there's something that ain't right. But he's good now. Yeah, he he's all right. I mean, he still <laughs> has his like. <laughs> there's a difference between he's good and he's all right. I, I mean. mean like, I think the thing, like, left him alone because he's, like, his own person now, he's you know, and he's older, 
and he's not that little baby that you can pick on and use his his body for you know how, whatever how are you not sure that they are the same thing now how, i mean at that age they could meld into one yeah how do you how do you not know that like that seed was planted and it literally grew within him we don't know to be completely honest my mom she has thought of like every way to get this kid to act right he is so so mean to her like he hits her he kicks her spits on her calls her a um tells her to f you and all that stuff wow. but like i'm saying like he doesn't use that kind of language like ever it's just like that one split moment and then he's like looking at you and the video that my mom has you can see him like looking around after he was yelling like what happened and this what is, just happened this is still going on uh yeah okay so you went from he's good to he's all right to he's still possessed well what you it it would be it might be really smart for you guys to like seriously hire someone or take them to a over. church. You don't. You don't have to hire anyone. You can just go but, to a church. That's what they do for free. But I, I think it's also the house. I think you yeah. need to get your entire house cleaned. And I clothes. do both at the same time. Patty, yeah. can you pass my phone up to the front? Seven years of this happening and hasn't been brought to a church. Okay, so look at this video. You see him still laying in his bed. He's standing right there. My mom turned off the baby monitor and everything. And he was still on the baby monitor laying in his crib. And by the way, looking at him totally could take him. <laughs> He's not, he doesn't even have nothing. You see him in the bed? Yeah. Well, also, did you notice those look like hooves? Oh, they do. Yeah. Wait, show me the picture. You can't, what is this teasing me bullshit that was, that's going on here? Uh, I don't know, Elton. Where's the picture though? That's the same video. Oh, the picture. Yeah. The picture that you said you wanted your phone for. We can pass this around too. Sorry, I know this is weird because we're seeing it and you can't. You just pass the phone around. You can see the woman. My mom was watching this. My mom was watching this all on the, the security camera. The, this is the woman. She puts her leg up behind her like she's hugging the man over the fence to our neighbor's house. And we came to find out that there is a tunnel that leads from under my, like the basement of my house. It's all blocked off now. And, but it's starting to fall apart. So you can see, you can see back there. And it's a tunnel from my house to the neighbor's house. But yeah, and then that's the man standing right there. Got it. All right, I'm gonna pass this around. <laughs> I was gonna say, you were talking about that, that sound, there's times like a lot in Ohio of unmarked, Stuff that's wrong to African American people yeah. on the underground. Yeah, and, oh, that, I and, that, and I thought that as soon as you said that it was on Mars, I bet if you look around, I bet you might find some more in your yard. And then that's your Okay, that's a, actually a really valid point. The Black River is in the backyard, and probably about like two years after we moved in there, we went down there and we're looking. And we were finding bones. And we're like, oh, they're just animal bones. You know, there's deer down there all the time. No, we found a femur, a human femur. We found a toe, like a toe bone. And we're like, okay, now that's not an animal. That, that's a human. You can definitely tell the difference. And we're like, uh, we're just going to leave those alone. We're just going to be hush hush. Not, nope. I'm not f these bones. Nope. That's a good t-shirt. I ain't with, with these bones. bones. <laughs> it's like a haunted homies t-shirt. <laughs> it's yeah. like a ghost. It's like, I ain't f***ing with these bones. with the skeletons <laughs> on the side. Okay. Um, first of all, do we need to make the appointment for you? One, we can hire a house cleaner, uh, a priest, and a bishop. Like... <laughs> Maybe like, because like, I mean, we don't we don't like have a lot of people out here that do stuff like that. Yes, like, you do. Yes. Oh, yes, we, you do. We have yes, tried, you do. We've tried looking for people and ask me. They're like, oh, we can't come. Well, no, because like, they're, they're not. They're not supposed to do house calls. You have to bring them to a church, to a parish. You have to bring them there, and then you can get someone else to cleanse your house. I mean, you can do it with sage and rosary, but like 
You can go into a church. I know this for a fact. I have done this. You can go into a church and say, these are the issues we're having. Can you please help? And they will. That's what their service is. That is what they are pledged to do. Mm -hmm. Especially if you believe it's a demon, that is exactly what they, you don't need this TV-esque exorcism. You can just go to any church. And if that church doesn't have someone that feels they're qualified, they'll refer you to someone else. So you definitely can. You can just put him. I know he's really strong and he's going to yell all the time. But you can put him in the car and take him and get that thing out of him, hopefully. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would I would try doing that. Yeah, that's definitely going to be something that. I mean, and yeah, he's he's still young. He's what? He's eight and a half years old now mm -hmm. at this point. Like he's he's six. He's now. six. OK, yeah. so like help him. I mean, like he's mm -hmm. only six. Like if like if there's something inside of him that isn't him and you have the ability to help him have a happier life where he's more well tempered and well mannered, like I feel like he's owed that. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not trying to like pick on you, but no, it, I get you it. You know I what I mean? It. Like it just it, like I yeah. see that and I hear these stories like. My my stepdad, he's a skeptic, okay? He doesn't really believe in the stuff unless it happens to him. But then he's like, it's happening oh, to no, him. That's, <laughs> my, that's my brain playing tricks on me. Like, he hears the hay in his ears and everything. And he's like, oh, no, that's just my brain playing tricks on me. But it's like, okay, so why does everybody else hear the same thing? Mm. Um, well, can can you drive? Yeah. You can drive, right? Yeah. On a road trip. Yeah, just tell him you're going to Cracker Barrel and pull up to a church. <laughs> <laughs> do you okay here, here's a genuine question then now that i know a little bit about father or stepfather father stepfather stepfather now i know a little bit about your stepfather do you feel as though he would be embarrassed or ashamed to publicly admit and like let the community know that his son or stepson has been brought to a church for these reasons? Do you feel like that's kind I, of what's holding it back? I just feel like he doesn't believe that there's really anything wrong with him. I feel like he believes like, oh, it's his autism. It's his ADHD. It's whatever, you know, but he's not like seeing the bigger picture. Like the ADHD and the autism doesn't explain the things that he does and says. Mm -hmm. There's no way that a one-year-old autistic kid is going to call their mom a yeah. 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 No, we we agree with you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, yeah, I feel like, you know, you owe your brother a trip to Cracker Barrel. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yes. I've heard also that children that are on the spectrum, spectrum or anybody that has, you know, issues like that, that they are more comfortable. So, thank you. Mm -hmm. Can attach easier. Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. Yes. If anyone didn't uh, hear what she said, she said that she has heard that kids that are on the spectrum are more vulnerable uh, to demons and things like that. I'm going. I'm going to hold all the questions that's happening because uh, if not, like we won't be able to get through any of the other stories. So just out of respect to like the other other people, we also want to bring on stage. That's the only reason. I know we could end up. We could literally spend another two hours talking about this. Um, <laughs> Okay, I, I would really love to, to, to hear the follow-up. So if you do bring him and anything like that, I would personally love to know what happened yeah. and then to see if anything drastically improves thereafter. Yeah. Okay. So, and seriously, if you find those videos, like they should be seen. Um, that's like a pretty monumental thing. Yeah, right. For but, sure. um, he's, he's literally like, he's broke two 65-inch screen, flat-screen TVs in two months. He, the one time he literally just looked at my stepdad and smiled at him and knocked it over. And he wouldn't have done that. He doesn't do that now. Mm. So it's like he wouldn't have done that. And he, like I said, he was probably like three at that time. Is it weird that I kind of want to meet your brother now? <laughs> I mean, hey. <laughs> we do a house call. Do I do a house call? Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you for Frost Off for sharing yeah. and being up here. No Thanks for standing the whole time too. <laughs> No Appreciate problem. it. I'll give I'll give you a hug. Thank you. Thanks for sharing. I'll take the mic from you too. Yeah. That's intense. Seriously, that's intense. Yeah, that is that is I really hope you guys figure that out and get your house cleaned. Yeah. I'm sorry. Also, about whoever that. those mediums are, uh, maybe shouldn't be mediums anymore. Yeah. If you're just like, oh, there's something here, we can't help you. What that's like going to a mechanic to be like, oh yeah, your fucking engine's blown. Good luck. Like it's uh, yeah. like that's so like not how that oh I was wondering why my chair so far back. I was about to fall off the stage. Yeah, maybe they weren't mediums. Maybe they were more well done. <laughs> I'm that's not making the podcast. Maybe maybe they're maybe they're mediums that it's it's really rare for them to get results. Mm. 
Yeah, you really need an A1 medium in there. Tonight they made me fully believe in your paranormal. I'm sorry. <laughs> the night that made me fully believe paranormal encounters happened around six to eight years ago. I was in middle school and I met my best friend. One night, she invited me over to her house. The night started to take a turn when we were talking and she explained to me how she had a gravestone in her backyard that had a name on it. This is a very Ohio thing, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Typical. After a couple of months, our curiosity increased and we decided to hand make a Ouija board to try and find answers. We played the Ouija board with open but biased minds and didn't expect it to work. However, we were still not fully convinced. We still had a weird feeling and that's where our lives took a turn. A few weeks and months go by, more random things and encounters started happening. We decided to hang out at her house and we were going to be home alone. So that night in 2016, we were chilling in our room later at night, probably around 1130 and laughing, watching YouTube videos and talking. Then around 12 o'clock, it all started. We started to hear a faint but close baby cry and, it, and at first ignored it. We were very confused and knew no one was home, but we thought maybe her parents and little brother got home, so we went downstairs. When we went downstairs, all of the lights were off, except a night light plugged into the wall. You couldn't see anything except her blind dog, and we noticed the dog was staring at the wall. Me and my best friend decided to take a look around and then agreed it was probably nothing. When we decided to clear our minds, the dog slowly walked to the basement and just started staring and we got creeped out but decided to go back upstairs. We get back upstairs and decide to go back to what we were doing before and then we hear something or someone smack the window that was across the room. We jumped and noticed there was a handprint on the window and I thought it was there before. I went up to the window and put my hand to it and it was four times the size of my hand and came to realization that this is not a normal handprint. We started to get scared. Not even two seconds after, we heard a huge thud and noise like a big bag of rice or a heavy object was thrown at the door. Instantly, me and my best friend started to freak out and panic. We stayed in place for quite a while to try to think of what to do. But we thought maybe her sister was messing with us. So we went into her sister's room and she was confused and swore she didn't do anything because she had just gotten home. We ended up deciding to go downstairs again to get peace of mind and then there was nothing. We once again decided to go back in and as soon as I hit the second step, I felt a sharp pain and burning sensation on my back. I had the urge to cry and I ran. I got back to the room and realized there were minor scratches on my back and we freaked out and stayed in her room and nothing else happened for the rest of the night. After that night, everything was off and random occurrences and things would happen. And when we felt like we were being followed, it would make itself known at very random times. Things like Snapchat filters popping up on their own, extreme and random nosebleeds for no reason, lights flickering, toys and objects going off, bad luck followed with my home phone ringing by itself and getting aggressive. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I want to hear. I definitely want to hear more about this. Is Patricia here? Get up here. Oh, wow. Damn, y'all just f***ing haunted together, huh? A round of applause, Give it up, y'all. Howdy. 
Okay, so I have to ask. It says you and your best friend. Is that your best friend? Yes. Hmm. Are we sensing a theme here, anyone? We have two best friends that seem to have chaotic things happening in their lives. You made a Ouija board yourself at the age of what? How old were you? Like eleven or twelve. Yeah. Hmm. 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 You said it, not me. <laughs> Okay. I want to know about the nosebleeds and stuff like that. When Would it just happen randomly or was it happening during paranormal um, encounters? So I actually told you this earlier and I have a picture. So over the years, like we said, we were doing dumb things and playing with Ouija boards. One time we were playing with the, the Ouija board. And then a week after, we we're really into horror movies. And personally, Annabelle is my favorite. So when Annabelle Creation came out... Mm -hmm. We were watching it in my basement, the same basement that we did play the Ouija board in. All of a sudden, we're just chilling there and watching this movie. And the climax was happening. And all of a sudden, my nose just starts bleeding. And there's blood going all the way down. And then my mouth starts bleeding. And I just remember blacking out. But then my friend snap me out of it and I have a picture but all of a sudden I just remember blacking out and they said that I was acting weird and like kind of possessed in a way and then all of a sudden like I said my mouth and my nose was bleeding for a good like 30 minutes or like to an hour and it just did what? not stop and, and this is at your house correct yes this was at my house but we did most of the things at her house but we did bring a Ouija board to my house it obviously was not the smartest thing <laughs> Your but, mouth. You withheld a lot of information when you were what, on stage. This Look. is what happened. She Casually up. captioned, she's possessed. <laughs> There's literally 85 S's in it. Like, she's possessed. Yeah. Okay, would you mind sharing that with everyone? Okay. Everyone read her text messages. <laughs> Can I get your phone back and text your boyfriend back for you? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, oh, that was no. a bad decision. That was a very <laughs> bad decision. That. Then Should again, apparently you're that. keen to making bad decisions. So I mean, let's yes. just add another one to the list. Why don't we? Okay, tell me about your mouth bleeding. What, was it your gums? Your gums just started um, bleeding? It was just very odd. I just felt this really off sensation. And it's like was coming from my nose and it felt like my throat. So I was very scared. And I was like, at this point, I need to go to the emergency room. Yeah. I told my dad and I even showed him the picture and he didn't believe me. So like it's a reoccurring thing that our parents, they care, but they just don't believe us in most occasions. Things. If my kid came to me and was like, dad, for the past hour, my mouth and nose has been bleeding. I would not be like, I don't believe you. <laughs> That's bullshit. My first question would have been like, what'd you do to deserve it? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> okay. How close do you live to each other? Because you both found unmarked uh, headstones, tombstones at your houses. Okay. Well, actually, that was at her house, but it was just. Wait, huh, what? Oh, yeah. the tombstone you found was at her house? Yeah. We, I went to her house and th we didn't know anything. We didn't know that we shared paranormal like interests or anything. Mm. And then it just sure all happened. Didn't. And then we just, we kind of made a YouTube channel and then started like telling our stories. But we were young kids, so we just had a little Android or iPhone, maybe four or something, just mm -hmm. taking videos. We do have a lot of, I'm going to really try to find old like evidence and stuff, but we tried to investigate that and obviously played the Ouija board and we got the whole story. It also said some very detailed and interesting things like about how I was going to die into, into a car accident in six years. How and long ago was that? Six years ago. Well, yeah, like earlier this year. So, well, I'm Uber. still here. Download so. Uber or Lyft, you know what I mean? Well, that doesn't stop it. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> okay, I, 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 need to, I need to know the timeline here. How long have you, how long ago were you doing the Ouija board? Like when you made your own Ouija board? Um, We made our own Ouija board when we were 12. But even and how old are you now? Um, 18, almost 19. Interesting. Mm -hmm. So, six and a half to seven years ago. How old's your brother? Six. Mm. <laughs> Anyone else doing the math here? Anyone else doing the math here? That, like, 
you had your nosebleed and your mouth bleeding and you're doing Ouija boards and you're both friends and you both have tombstones in your yard <laughs> and it starts to happen and it affects a younger brother who is autistic, who is the most vulnerable. And yet you guys might be the cause of this and also aren't yeah. doing anything. No, no, that's exactly what that's I'm exactly saying. That's exactly why. Yeah. That's literally we, what we're, that's what we're saying is that so it we, started. We created the antichrist, I'm guessing. <laughs> That, but that's exactly what I'm saying. Like, it seems as though something was attacking you. You're best friends. You're hanging out all the time. You're obviously going back and forth to each other's houses. And now something has entered your home and is affecting your little brother. I feel like now the two of you owe a trip to Cracker Barrel. Okay. <laughs> Am I, am I alone in thinking this? Or is I, am I like, I can't be yeah. the only one who finds like this correlation to be so eerily pinpoint accurate. Yeah. You found a video of your younger brother? Now, show me right now. Show me right it's, now. It, I don't, it wasn't the one with him saying, right? Oh wait, can I actually text your boyfriend? If, if you want to. I do want to. Okay, do you want to call him instead? Do you, no, I don't want to call him, I want to text him because then he won't know it's me. The only way that we would have okay, the best so. evidence of knowing that it was you two that caused the possession is if the little brother was saying is. <laughs> okay, so. You can totally text whatever you want. Okay. Uh, Corey's watching a video of a one-year-old screaming, and here I am writing a text message to your boyfriend that says, so I heard you saw some demon last night. What the fuck is that? Like, it's not okay, and you know how I feel about her. Send. Oh. <laughs> Damn. You know, I'll let you know when he responds. <laughs> okay. okay. I'll explain to Elton. Okay, okay. Explain, explain to me. Okay, explain to me. So it wasn't, uh, little the, brother wasn't saying or anything, but you can see him sitting there and everything's completely okay. And then you see him go like this. He's completely normal. And then he just goes, and he takes like a deep breath in and then he just gets super angry. And then out of nowhere, he starts yelling and then he starts hitting himself. Yeah, he starts smacking himself across the face and then he's like screaming like, <sighs> and he went from being completely normal, just like sitting there. Well, the the next video I want to see from you is the two of you taking him to a church. Okay, so... And that and that's coming from me. Of all people, I'm the one saying it, so... So he actually responded. He responded? Can I please read it? He said, you're funny as f You were literally with me last night. <laughs> wait, 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 can I say something? Oh, yeah. I say something? <laughs> Are we going to write the same thing? What were you going to say? I was going to write, yeah, I'm the demon... I'm talking about. Oh, I was oh. going to say prove it. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh my God. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Do that. Yeah. Go, young Padawan. He said one of the dudes got your phone. What? Uh, <laughs> multiple dudes. Oh, no. Oh, what? no. Corey. Corey. Me Corey. <laughs> what? Oh, my God. Corey. No, Sunday. No, no. Do the. No. <laughs> Come on. Commit. Wait, how, Commit. how old are you? 18. 18. And how old's your boyfriend? 18 too. I bet. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's about to be pissed. I don't even know. I said multiple dudes with a winky face. Yeah. Oh my god, Corey. <laughs> <laughs> what I said isn't a lie, but I said her mouth is occupied right now. <laughs> <laughs> wait, what? Wait, what? Is, wait, this show has taken a wild turn. Oh my god! He wrote, "Okay." He said, "Drop the Addy. I'll show you multiple dudes." <laughs> what does that mean? I'm no is he gonna idea. pull out his little buddy? Is he bringing his friends? <laughs> Yo, are we about to have like a high school musical brawl in the gymnasium right now? Uh, well, I want to thank everyone for coming out to the show. Uh, uh, right. Should we send a selfie? We'll do a selfie. But should we send a selfie with the whole audience and us right, holding it right, this way? Right, right, right. Yeah, yes, yes. Oh, God. Uh, well, thanks for coming to our paranormal podcast. <laughs> Stop. Okay, I want to 
won't send that one. We have to finish it there. I won't send that one. Corey, Corey made me stop. I was going to keep going. Thank you, Corey. <laughs> Thank you both for sharing. Thank you as well. Yeah. That was very, that was very fun. All right. Here is the story again. I'm just reading uh, one of them. And this starts as, this is the one that probably impacted me the most. So around the time when I was in high school, I got more interested in the paranormal and ghost hunting. Parentheses, probably from watching Ghost Adventures, LOL. But anyways, me and my two sisters went to the cemetery. Basically, I was provoking and stuff like Zach would always do. I was jumping on gravestones and stuff. Just stupid kid stuff. Then I said something mockingly along the lines of, The difference between you and me is that I'm alive and you're dead. Well, after reviewing our voice recorder right after I said that, you hear what sounds like a swooshing sound, kind of hard to explain, but we slowed it down to 50% on the computer. And what we heard was what sounded like 10 different whispery slash ethereal voices that come out of nowhere and say, I am the dead, I will avenge, over and over again. Multiple voices. I kid you not, even to this day, any time I think about that, I still get chills that go up my spine. This is probably the experience that really confirmed my belief. And if there is anything that haunts me to this day, it would be from this experience. Ha ha. And then here is one other tidbit uh, of an experience they had as well. This happened most recently within the year. I was visiting my sister and her boyfriend in New Mexico. We are at their house and I hooked up my phone to their Bluetooth speaker and opened a spirit box app called Necrophonic. Me and my sister started asking questions and trying to communicate. Anyways, long story short, about two hours after, I'm on the computer room with headphones on. My sister and her boyfriend are in the family room sitting on the couch. I hear them yelling my name, so I come out. And they just looked freaked out and asked, that wasn't you? So apparently, when I was in the other room, a music box, one that you physically have to crank, went off and started playing. At first, they thought it was me messing with them, but then they turned around and nothing was there. The music box stopped, and then they were yelling my name. I didn't even know about the music box, but apparently it had been sitting there and hasn't been used for like a year. It's never once gone off by itself, and in fact, they never had anything paranormal happen in that house. My sister's boyfriend is one of the most logical people I know, and even he was at a loss for words and could not explain it. So they never had anything haunted happen in their house, but coincidentally, two hours after we used a spirit box and tried communicating, that happens. A music box, which requires cranking, played on its own. Nope, LOL, it's not just a coincidence. And that story is from Jacob. Jacob, would you mind joining us up here? Oh my God, it's the Rocket League guy! Let's go, Jacob. <laughs> <laughs> we'll scoot over, bud, Corey and I. What's up, man? How you doing, bud? Okay. One, uh, running on gra uh, tombstones and gravestones and stuff. Yeah, not a good idea. Uh, you know, did, you, did you know that I also used to do that? Really? Mm -hmm. My old house was inside a cemetery. It was an old crematorium and completely surrounded, basically 270 degrees worth, was surrounded by uh, gravestones. There was no parkour gym in my area, so... Jumped from one to one? Yep. <laughs> so I also did the same shit. Uh, gotcha. But yeah, yeah very obviously uh, irresponsible kid thing to do. Mm -hmm. Okay, so... Zach Bagans, you're watching a lot of ghost adventures. You decide provoking. Do you feel as though when you started that, because that was story number three of five that you submitted, yeah. that kind of started the chain of events that led to the most recent thing you had happen? Uh, maybe. I mean, I think it started before that, uh, but that's really the night where I started believing. Uh, just because when we played that back, like, it's seriously the craziest thing, guys. Like, it's like, you know, the whole triple voice, like sound effect on things. It was like that, but just like tens of tens of voices. Just, Did you try emulating to some of them? I am the dead. I will avenge. What? Yeah. You can vouch it. for that? It's gone now because it was on my old sister's laptop and it broke and it's just completely gone now. So it sucks so bad because oh. I wish I had it. Well, so that was like an instinctual, like replication of what you heard yeah which no that me... was yeah that was like exactly it except to think like 10 more voices like stacked on top of each other but sort of like uh i don't know like different times so it's like but they all were saying the same thing yes it and... was 
freak. <laughs> and, and where where was the cemetery or tombstone? Do you know, like, who did you ever try and figure out what this could have been? This voice, this person, where you were? Uh, try, there was a witch's ball at the cemetery. That's all I remember. It's somewhere in the area, local area. A witch's ball, as in? Uh, it's just a giant, like, ball of like marble or something oh i thought you literally meant like a witch's ball like no no like cinderella went no to the they ball. just nickname it that like it's like the attraction there at oh that okay cemetery. i literally thought that's what you were saying like you Me lived too. in salem and there was like a bunch of just <laughs> no, witches no. went dancing like in the a cemetery. pavilion i wish yeah. no <laughs> <laughs> so where where is this located what, what city are we in in the cemetery where where are we in the country it's in ohio uh okay i'm olmstead falls maybe uh Somewhere okay. around there. And there's a witch's ball, just it's, a giant it's, sphere. It's just like a ball of marble. It's someone's grave, but they said that she was a witch mm. uh, when she lived. And so there's this whole like ghost paranormal stories on it that that's why that cemetery is haunted. So the cemetery is known to be a famous haunted cemetery. Not necessarily area. famous, but like locally people know about it. Okay. Yeah, and why, why choose a cemetery to investigate? Like, were you influenced by the TV shows, and that's why you're like, that's I don't all, care. Well, I was with my sisters, and it's all we really like knew about. Like, a cemetery has to be haunted, right? So that's where we went. Like, we didn't know of any other like available locations. I feel like that is a common thing we hear about. We hear about, like, and it's probably the worst place to go about it because absolutely, you know, <laughs> yeah. I will absolutely agree with you. Even I like try and avoid cemeteries at all costs when we do videos. Like, that's the one place where I'm like, I just don't. Yeah, like it's okay to visit and all that, but to actually like investigate and especially provoke, bad idea. Yeah. Yeah. And the, how popular it is to do Ouija boards at cemeteries. Right. You know? Right. Yeah, you're just asking for trouble. Yeah. Because if that really is, you know, a lot of people's resting grounds and, you know, good spirits are there. And then think about the dozens of kids that are constantly just opening portals on top of other people's graves, you know, like where their home is. Yeah. It's got to be scary. Mm-hmm crazy <laughs> look looking back on it i mean uh, do you feel as though provoking in a cemetery was probably an unwise thing to do oh yeah absolutely okay that's like one that made me believe two that scared the shit out of me <laughs> like uh when we back, got back home like my sister was into crystals and all that so if she did like a crystal cleanse on me and stuff uh but like i don't know it just really confirmed my belief Interesting. Yeah, because it's like I always, always, always hear stories of people that are like, oh, I saw provoking, so I'm going to go do it. So, it. Okay, if you want crazy activity, it kind of does work, but All you're right, going well. to <laughs> you're gonna get trouble with it is yeah, what I'm yeah. saying. Like when you guys were at the Warrens and you were saying uh, like the, In the name, of, name Jesus. of Jesus, you weren't getting the activity, yeah. obviously, because it's all demonic stuff there. Mm -hmm. Like Completely agree. But if you were to provoke them, I guarantee you like... How bad All hell would have broke loose. Yeah. Yeah. I, I had to walk a line there because obviously I was not saying the name yeah. of Jesus Christ. <laughs> I knew you wanted. But at the same time, I couldn't provoke. So yeah. I, I had to find this like weird middle ground. And they did tell us like, if you do anything in, in the, the provocative manner, you're gone. You're leaving. Yeah. No video. You're done. So like we did have to kind of clear that line a little bit. But um, okay. Even if that wasn't the case, like I still wouldn't have provoked in there. Like with the stories of Annabelle and everything. Like, yeah. I would have like bullied her friends first. You know what I mean? Yeah, definitely. Seeing what like her, her bodyguards would the, have done. The shadow yeah, yeah, the thing or whatever. The, oh, the dinosaur. Yeah. yeah. Going after those yeah, great idea. <laughs> I'm kidding, Dan. I wouldn't have done that. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. And then, so now here you are years and years later. Uh, this is, you said within the year, yes. you're at a place that has never had any paranormal activity. Um, here's another question. You mm -hmm. have a house that has never known to be haunted. You're, nope. you're visiting someone's house, right? Yep. Did you ask them, hey, do you mind if I open a portal in your home? <laughs> Honestly, it was just me and my sister. Uh, we were bored. So we were like, I've got this app on my phone. Let's try it out. And that's how it started. Uh, got some responses, but we were like, nothing like super, like, what's the word? Uh, Crazy. Remarkable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. or legitimate. Um, but after that, like at two hours after that is when the music box thing mm. happened and it was just freaky. Like I didn't hear it because I had my headphones on and they just are yelling my name and then I come out there. Would you say the cemetery experience is the craziest thing that you uh, had happened? Or yes. has it been something I mean, scary? The one I couldn't explain the most and I had it in there is I was just sitting on my couch and 
the bathroom cabinet in my bathroom uh, must have opened and it, like so there's a hallway to my kitchen and I'm just sitting on the couch and I just see a bottle of Neosporin like land on the tile floor that's like 15 feet away from the cabinet what? and like I just can't explain that at all was anyone else home during that my parents were home but sleeping upstairs like literally made no sense like it's like one of those glitch in the matrix types things almost do you think that it's because of the cemetery that that happened? I mean, I, I, I know that'd be a cool story, but I don't like think it's linked. Yeah. Uh, I think it was just like maybe a random ghost passing through. Who knows? Because our house has not really ever been haunted before. Yeah. But yeah. How many, how many times have you provoked? How many different places have you gone to and, and, and done this? Like how, how, for how many years, you know, like what age did you start at? Uh, around 14. And how old do you know? 28. Okay. Oh, 10. Wow. You got 10 years. Okay. Yeah. I, I haven't investigated for a long time. Yeah. So, uh, it was mainly just a few times I provoked and it was that last time that I provoked, I stopped because it just scared the shit out of me. Very smart. Yes. <laughs> yes. Very yeah. smart. Uh, didn't investigate much more after that, except for like just going to a couple haunted locations, but never really like investigated. Have have they reported any other hauntings at this home in New Mexico since you have left? Nothing left. Nothing at all. Nothing yet. Like you just kind of yeah. you gave a little jolt of energy to the home. It was like yeah, uh, and then just gone. We asked it to leave because like they didn't want anything in their home, obviously. Yeah. And I've heard nothing since. You should just start doing that at like people's houses. Just like go over for a party, <laughs> quickly open up a portal and just leave. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> Have fun. Oh, oh just, just like a wedding crasher, but just you're like. <laughs> 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 That's the new party crasher. That's the new party crasher. The new hey, party we're gonna trick. Go, we're going to crash this party already. Mom. <laughs> Dip. Or the next time like someone can't reach something on the shelf, you're like, I got this. <laughs> hey, can you get me the Neosporin? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Only if it's within 15 feet. Correct. Yeah, correct. Exactly. correct. <laughs> wow. Okay. Uh, you, you have any, any other questions? No, I, I don't think so. That's, no. that's pretty wild, though. It, it just makes me curious if that stuff's happening to you, you know, because right. of your experiences in the past. And yeah. so the, the spirits that are around you or passing through can tell that you're open. So they're kind of just walking through doing a little something and that's it or you know ouija board i i never really messed around with one except once when yeah I was young. but uh when you were I, 14 no probably like 10. <laughs> oh sh i what am a lot like you like with the whole empath thing yeah and just yeah and you can you can kind of feel when someone's in the room or you get like that weird feeling of someone's yeah watching really you. really sensitive to stuff yeah. like that so you did the ouija board when you were 10. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Did anything happen? Do you uh, remember? I mean, we got responses and stuff, but nothing like physical or just a uh, couple weird responses. Where did you get the Ouija board at 10 it years was old? at my aunt and uncle's house in mm. the basement. Mm. So. Typical place to find your first Ouija board. Yep, exactly. <laughs> a relative's basement. Yes. Was it covered in spider webs next to their pagan a little, altar? A little dusty. Uh, <laughs> yes. Uh, <laughs> blood dripped on it. The whole, <laughs> whole short deal. Did it glow in the dark? Uh, I did too. Yeah. Yes, yes. Oh, you you that, have the same one. I swear one. to God, the Ouija board I had, we got it at Toys R Us and it glowed in the dark. Yep. That's why they went out of business. <laughs> That's they why just Jeffrey, <laughs> they just sold to. Yeah. Jeffrey got sucked into a portal. <laughs> yeah, rumor has it if you use a Ouija board to this day, if you put your ear to it, you can hear Jeffrey the giraffe walking. It's true. Man, it's Can't crazy. Confirm. Go home and try, guys. That's it's why giraffe's tongues are black. Because uh, they're demons. Are they? Yeah, giraffe tongues are black. Am I wrong? I didn't know I think that. they're black. I didn't. I Maybe they're demon black, giraffes. Right? Giraffe tongues are Wait. black. That's why their necks are so long, because they're just trying to reach heaven any way they can. <laughs> just evolution was like, please help me, God. <laughs> Classic giraffe. <laughs> oh, man. All right, you're, you're, you're fun. You're, you're fun. Thank you for being up yeah, here. And please, for please get, him to, uh, get him to champ one so he can stop complaining. GC. 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 Can you musty? Uh, I can musty actually. Okay. He is a little he's, musty he's right potential. now. The shower broke. I don't know if you heard that. I'm champ one right now, Elton. We can get you there. I like how we alienated 98% we'll, we'll of the after. audience again. <laughs> <laughs> we'll talk after. All right, yeah. Thank okay, you. Thanks for having five. me. Thanks okay, for your support. Team. Thank you. Let me show my experience. Yeah. yeah, sir. Thanks, man. <laughs> all right. Well, sincerely, did you all have a fun time tonight? Yeah. <laughs>
Awesome. That's what we love to hear. Okay, seriously, who here is going to go outside and make new friends and go ghost hunting together? Make noise. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Perfect. All right, that's what we want to hear. Um, honestly, really cool to, to be here, and now it makes me want to actually come back to investigate more because we haven't really done any of like the Underground Railroad kind of stories, Prospect yeah. Place and a lot of other locations like that in the yeah. area. Seriously. Um, but yeah, we're just going to grab water really quick and then we'll take pictures with everyone. We'll sign whatever you want. We're going to do a group picture. Thank you all, seriously, for being here tonight. Thanks, y'all. Really